Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I will be guiding you all through a series of photographs that I have taken that have symbolic meaning to me. So this first photograph is a series of two images. The one on the left shows how I was battling with depression and the one on the right with addiction. As you can see with the depression, it was man is looking down, he's not looking up at the world and that's how I felt. And the second one, addiction, is this man that looks like he's aging and he's holding this heavy cinder block. And that's what addiction was for me because I was on painkillers and I was taking recreational drugs. The reason why I was in that state is because I was situating myself through a car accident where I was in a wheelchair for three months and I was unable to fulfill my basketball scholarship, which I received. So this quote right here, I took a picture of that says, don't let the sum total of your existence be eight to 10 pounds of air. How I situated myself is with this scholarship and I was minimalizing my life. And I needed to realize that my existence is not just this basketball scholarship. There is more to that in life. This is a photograph that I took of a quote that says, the thief left it behind the moon at my window. And what this meant to me was that these dreams that I have of fulfilling this scholarship have not been stolen, that my dreams are still here for me to achieve. And that at my window is actually a metaphor for my eyes, that I need to look through this window and see that there's more to life than just this scholarship that I have lost. So this next photograph that I took is of a neon sign that my mom is standing in front of that says, look out. And that's what I needed to do. I needed to look out and see the world. And so I took another photograph here of my dad holding up a newspaper. And it says, will return, not in any rush. And that's what I picked up from this photograph because I realized that my goals will take time to be reached and they cannot be reached overnight. There's a process to go through. And this photograph really resonates with my, how I situate myself because I look at it and my mom is pointing to two things on the ground, the word Fiji and the word Washington. And she's been to both places. And I realized that it's not about the destination, it's the journey. And our mom was an immigrant that came from Fiji to Canada and built this life of abundance and prosperity. And I can do the same. And finally, I transformed. I overcame addiction. I got my wings. And I'm able to share this journey with you all here today. And I thank you for being here.